Welcome back. Now I'm going to prepare the tin fish for my roti now that I'm done with the roti. The tin fish, in fact I always like using lucky star tin fish because the fish is sort of very firm. And I cleaned out the bones and whatever and sometimes you actually find scales onto the skin. You have to be very careful and clean them very properly. And, and that's one can of tin fish. And this is one can of tin fish. Yeah. I have uh, two medium size of uh, tomato grated and a small onion grated and two uh, uh, green chilies that I washed and stripped in the center. And then I have my masalas. I'm not going to use too much of masala because then I'll be taking out the much of the flavor. I'm using a teaspoonful of mixed masala, half a teaspoon hardi, half a teaspoon garam powder, and half a teaspoon dania powder. And to fry in the oil is a quarter teaspoon of jeera and mustard seed, which is optional. And thereafter, I have a quarter cup of oil. Knowingly, the tin fish is already pre-cooked. It can be used in various ways, like making raw tin fish uh, sandwiches for wherever you all intend going, maybe for a picnic or to the beach. Uh, when growing up, this was our favorite. When my mom was too busy to prepare something, then tin fish, raw tin fish with a loaf of bread, in fact, she should always call it the coffin bunny because we, she, they used to flip over the bread on cutting it from the top and putting in the tin fish into the bread. That used to be very tasty in our days. And now I am going to prepare the tin fish chutney using it up for roti, but it can be used, actually be used making biryani and rolling it up in bread and frying it out. Yes, there's many various ways we can prepare tin fish. I think it's South Africans quickest and best meal. Okay, my pan is sort of heated up. I'm going to use my quarter cup oil. Putting in my onions. So let it come to the side. Whenever using a non-stick frying pan, always use a sp plastic spoon. While the onions are frying, I forgot to make mention about my garlic. I'm going to use about six cloves of whole garlic to fry with the onions. And then my jeera and mustard seed to fry with. Now I'm going to add in my green chilies to fry wood. And then add in my masalas to cook. You can actually cook tin fish into a nice beautiful fish curry by adding some imli that is tamarind, tamarind yeah, a little tamarind. bit, but uh, tin fish still goes. And my 
tomatoes and I will allow the tomatoes to cook out. Okay, before putting my tin fish in, I'm putting half a teaspoon of fine salt. Just that's just for the tomato because tin fish has its own salt. Now I'll be putting in my tin fish. I place it very gently on the chutney. And because of the sauce being a little sweet, you can add in a tablespoon of lemon juice if wanted. It gives him the good flavor, but it's optional. Mix up the tin fish with the chutney and lower the heat. Now it will take about another 15 minutes. Now the tin fish chutney is done. I've got my garnish ready, which is, I got some spring onions, some dania, and some mint. I'm going to sprinkle it over and switch off the stove. There you are, your tin fish and roti for lunch. A very quick meal and everybody's favorite. Enjoy and thank you all very much for watching.